Hey diggers, it's Sunday morning. I'm here in Decatur with uh, my good buddy Tony. And I've been here oh, probably an hour, got a bunch of clad and came back over here where we were last week and got a little squeaker here in the iron and it's a Merc. Excellent, about five inches down. All right, well that makes me happy. That's a uh, silver 91 and I think my fifth out of this park. Okay, on to the next. Hey guys, uh, this hit is a 749. I thought it was going to be big silver or something, but it's a watch. What is it? Swatch? <laughs> What's that? A two dollar watch? I don't know. Alright. Well, it's been a while since I found a watch. Okay. On to the next. Hey diggers. Um, this isn't a very good presentation. Uh, I just found that watch a minute ago. And I'm right here in front of this basketball goal. And I like hunting in front of basketball goals because when guys are going up for shots, they can lose jewelry and not realize it and it winds up out here in the grass. So I just had a really shallow, it was like a half dollar signal. And looky there. Looks to be silver, boys. Oh yeah. Daddy Digger's happy. All right, let's see if I can uh, find a mark here. Yeah. All right, well, I'll have to get back with you when I find a mark. On to the next. Hey, uh, looks like uh, Tony just got a good silver for the day. Congratulations, Tony. Thank you. Hey, uh, check out this old uh, basketball goal and these old trees here. So I came over here and I had a little tiny signal. Um, I don't know, it might be a rosy. I think so. Yeah, it's a rosy, but I don't care. I'll Over take it. Over. Yeah, a little squeaker down about six inches. I, I thought it was either going to be, you know, a, a silver or maybe a wheat penny. So uh, that's a good one. All right, on to the next. All right, looks like uh, Tony's got another uh, big silver down there. Looks like a quarter. It's pretty deep too. So uh, let's have him pull it out and see what it is. It's a Washington. It is a Washington. 1936. All right. Good job, Tony. Hey, uh, here's an interesting one. My first ever uh, play money coin spill. <laughs> These uh, were about six inches apart, and they about seven inches deep, and they rang up like Indian head pennies. So I was all excited, uh, but. Then I thought, oh my god, is it a silver three cent piece? Uh, turns out to be play money though. Okay, on to the next. All right, uh, Tony and I uh, went and had some lunch and we've come back to another park. Uh, now this park was not here on the 1940 photograph. In fact, where that building is was a house. And uh, he found the Indian head penny over there last week. And uh, so uh, I just had my first good dig and it's a wheat penny. I can't get the air. It's too grounds too dry. Okay, on to the next. Okay, it's the next morning. I've got my finds all cleaned up. Had a really good hunt yesterday. Drove up to Decatur. It's about 130 miles. And I met with Tony and uh, we hit a couple uh, spots that we had found recently. 
and I had a pretty good haul. I had a total of 99 coins, and uh, the, it's almost $10 worth of clad, but I got uh, eight Wheaties, and the oldest was a 1929, and then I, uh, I got this uh, silver ring, and then I got uh, the Play Money, the Falsa Pecunia brand, and these are dated 1970, and it's really cool that um, this play money, this company actually dates their play money, and uh, this was actually a coin spill, so it was my first play money coin spill. And uh, I got the two silvers, 61 rosy and a 42 merc. Then I got this um, Princes of Jerusalem token. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I've never even heard of them. Valley of Springfield, AAS Wright. Uh, it looks like some kind of mystic order or something. And then I also got this um, prayer medallion. It's got the serenity prayer on the back. I'll tell you, when this rang up and I saw that goldish color in the hole, I thought I'd found a gold medallion, but eh, denied. And uh, here's that watch I found. And then I got this cool little car. This uh, really wasn't even buried. It was just under the grass. So it hadn't been lost probably maybe six months ago or something. Uh, all right. Well, I had a really good time. And uh, we found another park there in Decatur that looks quite old and quite large. And so uh, I'll have to head up there sometime in the near future and meet with Tony. Congrats, Tony, on your finds. Uh, those two silver quarters were awesome. And I'm glad you found them, and also the sterling ring. And uh, I really enjoyed our time together, and I look forward to the next one. So uh, to all my uh, subscribers out there, and I'm over a 1,000 now, thank you very much. And um, I hope you enjoy this video, and I look forward to your comments and ratings. Happy hunting.